What's up guys, welcome back to the Bondra's channel. Steve here and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about something a little bit different. We're gonna be talking about Apple Arcade and how it might actually be one of the best services for your kids, especially those who are active on their tablets. So this video is definitely gonna be geared towards parents who give their kids screen time. And if you don't, nothing against you, that's fine. This video may not be for you, but you might also wanna check it out. That way you can get an idea of what it is and it might change your mind about it. So what is Apple Arcade? Apple Arcade is a service provided by Apple on their devices, so iPhones, uh, iPads, even Apple TV. And what it is, is it's a service that you pay, it's $4.99 a month, and they give you access to a couple hundred games to play. And the what's the best part about the whole thing is the games have no ads and no in-app purchases. So obviously we shouldn't give our kids too much screen time, but I know in our household, Troy definitely does get his fair share of screen time. Although we do do a lot of other stuff, we build Legos and play with other toys, but screen time is definitely a part of his day. I'm sure most of you parents know that if your kids get screen time, there's three different things that you hear all the time. Can I get a new game? Can I buy this? Or can I get more coins or tokens? And that's what Apple Arcade is perfect for. And it's gonna help alleviate all those issues, plus some other ones that might actually cause concern for privacy and what your kids are seeing on those tablets that you may not even know. So typically when it comes to the App Store, the games that are in there, there's gonna be three different types of apps. The first ones are paid apps. Then your second type of game are ones that are supported by in-app purchases. But wait a second, what about the free games in the App Store? I see them all the time. So yeah, you can get free games in the App Store, but most of them have tons of ads. And we've all seen it, we've probably even used it ourselves because most of us are too cheap to spend a dollar or two dollars to remove ads. And not always are these ads based on the age of your children or even the game that they're playing. All right, so now let's transition over to Apple Arcade and why I think it's one of the perfect services for your kids. First of all, it is $4.99. It does cost, it's $4.99 a month, but you can get a one month free trial, which is perfect. You can try it out, if, see if you like it, and see if you don't, see if it's worth it for your kids and if they like it. Apple Arcade provides your children access to several games. At this moment in time, there's probably a couple hundred games. So obviously it's not the entire library that you see in the app store. One, you know, there's tens of thousands of games out there. And there may be games that your kids really like that aren't on there. But there are a lot of good games that range from young kids to older kids and maybe even adults. What's so wonderful about it is there's no in-app purchases. So you don't have to worry about, oh, I can't continue playing this game, dad. I can't continue until I buy coins or I have to wait for this to regenerate or whatever. You don't have to worry about that, which is amazing. And the second most important thing is there's no ads. So your kids aren't exposed to these crazy weird ads that we see all the time. It doesn't take up their time. It doesn't interrupt them. You don't have to hear or listen or see all sorts of weird stuff. So there's definitely a lot to choose from. And it can be difficult because some of the games that your kid's gonna wanna play aren't on there. So they're still gonna want some of the traditional ones, the ones that are you gotta pay for, ones that have ads or in-app purchases. They're probably still gonna want that. But if I was you, if, especially if it's ad-based, I would recommend that you try to just pay the couple bucks to remove the ads or whatever it takes, just because those can be very intrusive and you just never know what those companies are showing your kids. The Apple Arcade library is actually full of a bunch of different types of games. There's action games, puzzle games, platformer games, racing games, all sorts of different kinds of games. And what's really cool about it is a lot of the puzzle games and stuff are very unique. Um, a lot of these games wouldn't necessarily make it to the App Store on a normal basis, but they've been supported by Apple. So they bring these games in and help to, uh, you know create them and a lot of them, they really teach your kids. There's, there's learning aspects to them. There's a lot of like brain uh, teaser kind of development stuff going on. It's really good for your kids on a lot of the games. 
But of course you get your normal games too. There's a lot of fun action games. There's games based on shows. There's a SpongeBob game, there's Lego games. So you got the big name games that are on it. Also some no name games that are on there also. Another cool thing that I like about Apple Arcade is a lot of the games don't require internet access. So if you're traveling or your child's device doesn't have Wi-Fi at that moment, not all the games require internet. Of course, some of them do if they're multiplayer or something that needs to access it. So one of our personal favorites in the household is this game called Sneaky Sasquatch. And it's really cute and you're like, you start out as this kind of like, uh, wild Sasquatch kind of guy and you travel around and you try to find food and stuff and you fish and you begin to somewhat modernize and become more of a normal person. You're kind of, at first you're kind of like camping and living in the forest and the woods and you start to become a little more modern so you get a house and you get vehicles and you learn stuff. It's really kind of a cute game and Troy really loves it and he's really good at it. It's got a lot of fun little activities within the game. So a bunch of like little mini games. And so he really likes it and we like it. The content's pretty good on it and it's nice and clean. A couple of the other games that we really like, um, there's one called Hot Lava. Um, and that one's pretty cool. It's actually like an augmented reality kind of game. So an AR game. So it actually kind of gets him up out of his seat. He has to hold up his device and look around. It uses the camera and it's kind of like, you know, the floor is lava. So you got to move and jump to different things. And so they don't move all that much, but they use the device to look around, which that one's really cool and creative. Um, there's Lego ones. Uh, the Lego Brawls is pretty cool. So it's kind of like a, a fighting game and some people may not want the kids playing that, but it is more of a fighting game, but it's between Lego characters and stuff like that. That one's really cool. Um, there's puzzle games and stuff and um, not just puzzle as in like Scrabble and that kind of stuff, more like a mental puzzle kind of games where you gotta, there's this one called spider and you have to take the spider and you have to travel and he's able to climb up on the walls and the ceiling and do all sorts of cool, neat little things. And, but he's got to pick up objects and move them somewhere else and, you know, press these buttons and do all sorts of cool stuff like that. There's old school kind of games like Rayman, if you're used to that, Frogger, there's a modern version of Frogger. It's really cool. Lots of cool graphics and stuff. I, there's just really a ton to choose from and it doesn't really matter what kind of games you're into, there's something there. One of the best things about Apple Arcade also is that they're adding new games monthly. Sometimes it might only be one or two games, but I've seen them launch five, six games in one month and it's always changing and I haven't seen any of the old ones taken off. So the library is just growing and growing and growing and eventually there's gonna be way more to choose from. So obviously we really like Apple Arcade. It's super cool. The price isn't very expensive and we just got sick and tired of constantly being asked to buy a game or uh, in-app purchase or something. And we really honestly got sick and tired of these ads showing up on his games. And it's just like very intrusive. Some of them are very inappropriate. So Apple Arcade has been absolutely perfect for our, our family. He still does have a few of his own other games that aren't in Apple Arcade that he really, really likes. Um, but other than that, mostly Apple Arcade, or if he asks for a new game, I tell him. He knows how to get to the Apple Arcade section. You go to the App Store, there's a special button right at the bottom for Arcade. He taps on that and I say, you can download anything you want in there. However, he can't just download anything on his own, which is another thing that most parents should probably consider, especially if they're getting uh, if these kids have their own devices and have access to screen time and internet. Um, one of the things that we've enabled on the iPad and the iPhones is um, uh, parental requests. So Troy has his own account and so when he wants to download something, it actually sends a request to our devices that we can approve. So it says Troy is trying to download this and we can click on it, tap on it, and it'll show what he's actually trying to download. So we can say, hey, oh yeah, this does look like a pretty good game. It's safe for him, whatever. And we can approve it and then it automatically starts to download on his device. So that way he doesn't have access to just download whatever he wants. Also, another thing that you can do is, I know on Apple devices and probably on Android, um, you can set up screen time. So you can actually set it up to where the devices only get uh, to be used for so many hours a day or certain apps can only be opened for so many hours a day. So if that's something you can implement into your lifestyle with your kids, you know, a lot of times with us, we like to use 
chores and things of like that to help reward him with tablet time. So Troy, if you're gonna sweep the floor, or you're gonna do this or do that, you know, you can earn uh, 30 minutes of screen time or an hour of screen time or whatever. And especially now that we've been in this uh, age of no kids aren't at school and they're at home a lot. Um, we definitely want to keep them more active. And so we'll even introduce uh, learning games. Um, there's a lot of educational games out there for tablets. And so we'll tell them, hey, for every hour you put in on a learning game or something of that sort, you can get a half an hour of fun time on the tablet. Apple Arcade has been absolutely incredible for us. Uh, we've been on it for about six months or so now and it's helped us to eliminate a lot of that junk in his life. So if you have an Apple device, say an iPhone, an iPad, or an Apple TV, definitely give it a shot. I mean, it's a 30-day, uh, one-month trial uh, for free, and so it doesn't really hurt to try it out, and you can cancel anytime, whatever you wanna do. But check it out, and I almost guarantee you'll be pretty impressed with what they have to offer. And, and how good the games are. So make sure you guys subscribe. We really appreciate the support. We got a lot of other videos coming in, a lot of family, kid, and baby stuff coming. So make sure you guys subscribe if you wanna see all those upcoming videos. Hit the like button, it really helps us get in the, the YouTube algorithms and work our way up there. We really appreciate all the support, and as always, peace out. Full arcade, and I don't even know, I've already screwed up what I was gonna say, so here we go. Try to get this service. I kind of went off for that. I don't know what I'm gonna say. Enlighten you. Oh man, I don't know what I'm gonna say. Next thing, you, one of the other. Is that good or something like that? And.